Lovers Pro. Your number one lovers professor on YouTube. You've spotted her across the room. She's captivating, and you finally muster the courage to approach her. But then, the dreaded awkward silence sets in. We've all been there, haven't we? Stumbling over words, grasping for the right thing to say. This common predicament can make or break that crucial first impression. The solution? Having a solid set of conversation starters in your arsenal. A good icebreaker can turn that awkward silence into a meaningful dialogue. But fear not. We have compiled a list of 10 best conversation starters for a girl you just met. But before we proceed, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you're new here. If you've done that, then we're ready to dive in. First up is the classic, a genuine compliment. This is a time-tested and effective way to spark a conversation. A well-placed compliment can be a great conversation starter. But remember, it must be sincere and non-superficial. Let's discuss examples. Suppose you've just met a girl at a book club. Complimenting her choice of book can be a good way to start a conversation. Say something like, I couldn't help but notice that you're reading To Kill a Mockingbird. That's one of my favorite classics. This is sincere and not superficial because it's based on a shared interest. Or perhaps you're at a party and you notice her unique style. You could say, I love your sense of style. Your outfit really stands out in a good way. This compliment is genuine and it shows you've noticed something about her beyond just her looks. Remember, sincerity is key. No one appreciates a fake compliment. Next on the list, the observation. This is a go-to strategy for sparking a conversation with someone new. Imagine you're at a party, a coffee shop, or a bookstore. There's a world of details around you just waiting to be noticed. Picking up on something in your environment and mentioning it can serve as an excellent icebreaker. It could be as simple as commenting on the music playing, the artwork on the walls, or even the weather outside. For instance, you might say, this song reminds me of a road trip I took last summer, or that painting over there has such vibrant colors, don't you think? The key is to make your observations specific and interesting. It's not just about what you see, but also how you interpret it. Observations work best when they're unique and interesting, so keep your eyes peeled. Thirdly, we have the shared interest. Now, the beauty of finding a common interest is that it can easily lead to a deep, engaging, and meaningful conversation. Imagine you've just met a girl and you both discover you enjoy the same type of music, or perhaps you're both fans of the same sports team. This shared interest becomes a bridge, a connection that brings you closer together. You're no longer two strangers trying to make conversation. You're two enthusiasts, sharing your passion and experiences. It could be something as simple as a shared love for coffee, or as complex as a mutual interest in quantum physics. The key here is to find that common ground. Ask about her hobbies, her favorite books, movies, or musicians. When you hit on that shared interest, the conversation will flow naturally. It's like unlocking a secret door to a world of shared experiences and ideas. Shared interests are a surefire way to connect on a deeper level. Fourth on our list, the open-ended question. This is a classic strategy in the art of conversation and for good reason. Open-ended questions are incredibly useful for sparking engaging dialogues. Rather than asking something that can be answered with a simple yes or no, an open-ended question encourages the other person to open up, share more about themselves, and delve deeper into the conversation. For example, instead of asking, do you like music, which can end with a yes or no, you could say, what kind of music are you into these days? This invites a detailed response, perhaps sparking a discussion about favorite artists or songs, concerts attended, or even shared musical interests. Remember, the goal is not to interrogate, but to show genuine interest in getting to know the other person better. Open-ended questions invite more than just a yes or no answer, leading to a more engaging conversation. Halfway through our list, we have the humorous comment. Humor, my friends, is the spice of life. It's the universal language that can break down walls, melt away tension, and bring a smile to even the most stoic faces. Picture this. You've just met a girl who has caught your interest. You want to make a good impression, and nothing does that better than a well-timed, tastefully humorous comment. It could be a witty observation about the surroundings, a lighthearted joke, or a funny anecdote about your day. The key here is to keep it pleasant and not too complex. Remember, the goal is to make her smile and feel at ease with you, not to perform a stand-up comedy routine. A touch of humor can go a long way in showing your playful side and making the conversation more enjoyable. Humor can lighten the mood and make the conversation more enjoyable for both parties. If you've come this far, 
please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're just joining us, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification so you won't miss our next video. As we wrap up, let's quickly go through the rest of our top 10 conversation starters. First off, the personal anecdote. This is a great way to open up and share a bit about yourself. It could be a funny or embarrassing situation or an interesting journey you've embarked on. The key here is to make it engaging and relatable, which can encourage her to share her own experiences and anecdotes. Next, we have the hypothetical question. This is a fun and creative way to spark conversation. You could ask her something like, if you could have dinner with anyone, dead or alive, who would it be and why? It's an opportunity to learn more about her interests and values. Plus, it keeps the conversation light and intriguing. The third is the challenge. This is a playful strategy that can ignite a bit of friendly competition. For instance, you could challenge her to a game of pool or a trivia quiz on a topic she's interested in. It's a fun way to interact and it also gives the conversation an exciting twist. Coming up next is the recommendation. This can be about a book, a movie, a restaurant, or even a travel destination. It provides a chance to share common interests or introduce each other to new things. Just make sure to ask her for her recommendations too, so the conversation is a two-way street. Lastly, we have the future plan. This involves discussing something you're both looking forward to. It could be a concert, a movie release, or a local event. It's a great way to naturally extend the conversation and potentially plan for a future meetup. These starters can help you navigate any conversation with ease and confidence. If you have any question, don't forget to use the comment section below. Please help this message to reach those in need by sharing this video with your friends. And there you have it, 10 best conversation starters for a girl you just met. Today, we've navigated through the awkward silence and learned how to initiate a conversation that feels natural and engaging. Be it a compliment that makes her smile, an observation that piques her interest, or a shared interest that sparks a connection. Each of these conversation starters offers a unique way to break the ice and make a lasting first impression. We've also explored the power of open-ended questions. These are not just conversation starters, they're conversation extenders. They invite her to share her thoughts, experiences, and values, fostering a deeper connection. But let's not forget about humor. A well-timed humorous comment can not only lighten the mood, but also showcase your wit and personality. And of course, we covered the rest of the best, from personal anecdotes to future aspirations. These conversation starters provide a well-rounded approach to getting to know someone new. But remember, these are just starters. The real art of conversation lies in the exchange that follows. It's about actively listening to her responses, following up with relevant comments or questions, and sharing a bit of yourself in return. Above all, genuine interest and respect should be the foundation of any conversation. It's not about having the perfect line, it's about creating a space where both of you feel heard, understood, and valued. Remember, a good conversation is an art. It's about listening, responding, and most importantly, being genuine. So, next time you're lost for words, try one of these conversation starters and see where the conversation takes you.